I'm uh, Paul Winstanley, I'm a project manager at uh, Energy Technologies Institute. I'm uh, delivering a, a project uh, for the, the Institute covering uh, waste gasification. So uh, we, we've got three projects delivering uh, feed studies, so design and, and f firm cost studies to, uh, to under competition rules to actually find the most appropriate waste gasification system approach. Um, it's an unusual approach because we've, we've insisted on looking at the end-to-end -end, uh, and ensure everything is covered for the future. So the demonstrator plant that will be built after these, um, after these feed studies, the, the best one of the three, uh, will be a, a total system review looking for a system efficiency. So we'll be looking at sort of, uh, we're measuring it on electrical efficiency, but we're also trying to identify for future plants beyond the demonstrator um, waste heat and other waste products that can be used to improve the efficiency still further within the process. So the, the, the three studies from uh, Royal Dalman, Broad Crown and APP uh, are all going to provide um, the, the, the same final answer of a, of a feed study. They're all using different technologies, um, which, which we, th we think is fantastic for the ETI and for the UK to be able to demonstrate which one of these will be the most practical in the future, which, which will be the best technology, which will be at the best cost for the consumers. It's dealing predominantly with uh, municipal solid waste and commercial industrial waste. So the facility will end up with a materials recycling facility at the front, which will then um, ensure that the waste hierarchy is, is maintained at all times. The, the residual waste will then go through and be gasified. The gas will then be cleaned up uh, and utilised within a within an engine, um, sort of whether it be a turbine or a or reciprocating engine to generate electricity and waste heat. So the current uh, materials recycling facilities actually have quite a large natural gas demand for drying and processing the waste. So clearly we're looking at reducing that by making these package units and utilising the waste heat in there. Uh, the the waste heat levels also have the potential to go into district heating mains. The size of the plant has been, been aimed at a small city, so it's sort of uh, 50,000 people um, approximately occupancy, so we're actually wanting to reduce the waste miles that, that these travel and uh, most of the smaller cities will then be able to deal with their waste locally um, if it's put onto an industrial estate or, or something similar and the potential to sell heat to the surroundings. Um, but the, the end game is uh, in support of the 2025 EU mandate for zero uh, biogenic content waste to landfill, so hence reducing the, um, the, the, the methane produced by the, by the landfill sites. Uh, what's been discovered through the uh, bid process is that actually all three bids are actually looking at zero waste to landfill and actually utilising all of their um, outfall products. So it, it's, um, it, it's very interesting and, and challenging at the same time to be able to prove these technologies work, prove they can give us the 80% availability that we think is required to make these uh, systems actually commercially available and prove that um, we can get at least 25% net electrical efficiency out of the system. Um, that, that clearly gives a potential for more like 60-70% efficiency of the plant um, once the thermal uh, requirements are taken into account through, through recycling and, and refunding based on standard equipment. So th the, there's a lot of challenges to get there and uh, we're, we're looking forward over the next 12 months to sort of moving on that. The the, the bid process, the process for the feed studies is a 10 month process, so we're starting in April, finishing in February of 2014. Um, there'll then be a, a break for a decision point to pick the best technology, um, where we'll then move into the construction of that technology uh, in 2014. So it's likely to be completed in 2016 and through 2016, 2017, it'll be going through extensive trials and tests to prove that it works at that scale. Um, the, the final plant will also then be designed through that phase, uh, which will be a plant somewhere between 5 and 20 megawatt electrical to suit the 50,000 uh, population cities that we're looking at, towns and cities. So it's, um, it, it's an interesting challenge and, and we're, enjoy, we're looking forward to, to pressing forward with it.